Hi everybody. Um, I don't have a lot of time to make a video tonight. I actually got a temp job uh, that starts tomorrow for it's a contract for two weeks. Uh, so I need to be getting in bed, getting to bed here soon. There we go. I got that out. Um, but I um, wanted to make a quick video. Um, I was gonna share with you my favorite YouTube channel. It's they actually have an app for the show now, but it originated on YouTube, and they still post the videos from the app to YouTube. So you still see them, but just a week after they've already been made and all the cursing and everything has been um, cut out, uh, bleeped out and everything. And anything that's written on the screen um, has been changed so it can be on um, um, YouTube. So um, anyways, it's a show called Uh. It's uh, UN, capital U-N-H, lowercase H-H-H. It stars two drag queens from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 7. It's Katya Zimolochikova and um, Trixie Mattel. And I found this show at a dark time in my life. And um, they have like 120-some episodes now. But when I first started watching, they were at like 67. Um, and it is hilarious. They always have a given topic every week. And they talk and um, just talk about it. And like it, it cuts. Like they're not just talking straight through. The, the, the original ones, like the first few weeks that they were on, were a little bit more like that. But now like there's photo editing on the... Because they sit in front of a green screen. And they just talk about <laughs> all the craziest stuff. And they're, they work so well off of each other. It's just hysterical. And they have made up things uh because of that show like there's a thing called capping and you also have to watch that episode um and it's this capping um and uh they have what's called a thwarp it's when, you know when you open a fan and it makes that sound they call that thwarping and um so they have the thwarp um they'll come up with a crazy name and then they say like, welcome to the stage, so-and-so. And then it's like the, the editing goes like, like it's on a stage and there's dance music and everything. It's really funny. Um, and Katya is actually a recovering addict. And so she's very inspirational to me. Um, I would love to meet her someday. Her and Trixie, both. Um, they've both been on RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars. Uh, Katya did not win. She got second. Um, and Trixie actually won her season of All-Stars for RuPaul's Drag Race. So, um, it's very exciting to have such, like, high-level queens doing well outside of Drag Race. They have this show. It's probably, I think someone said it was the most popular web series ever. Um, and, uh, that, I mean, that says a lot. I mean, people will come up to them and not even mention the fact that they were on Drag Race, but be like, oh my god, I love your show! And I know I would be like that too because sometimes I'm just having a bad week and, excuse me, knowing that there's going to be a new episode on Wednesday at like three or four o'clock in the afternoon just makes me like, okay, I can make it because I know whenever I see that, I'm going to cheer up so much. And I always do. They always deliver. They've, they've had a few episodes that were just weren't as funny as others, but um, I will... Gladly recommends certain ones to watch if anybody wants to watch them. I'll put a link to the um, Wow Presents um, uh, on playlist uh, so you guys can catch episodes if you would like. Um, but they are just hysterical. Hysterical. And um, I was actually just watching, watching a bunch today from the current season. They're on season five now. And um, I just rewatched all the season five episodes thus far. Um, um, I don't know really what else to say about them. Um, I mean, I guess I can tell you verbally some of my favorite episodes. Um, drugs, drinking, um, oh, I can't remember all the names of them right now. Shame. Um, apologies. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, I'm 
I don't know. I, I, I can't think of any off the top of my head right now, but those are probably my four top favorite. Um, and the reason why I like apologies is because um, they just keep on saying the, um, I'm sorry you felt that way. And so it just comes up a lot. And they talk about how that's not a proper apology, saying, I'm sorry that you felt. Like, no, because that's totally not apologizing. It's a bullshit apology. So, uh, crap, I did not mean to cuss. Ugh, I'm never going to get monetized. Um, and um, it's just really funny. And then the drugs one, Katya regales us with stories of her past with drugs. And um, that one is actually really hysterical. But I think the reason why I find it so hysterical is because I'm a drug addict. And I can identify <laughs> with a lot of what she's talking about. Um, but they just go over a bunch of different drugs, different ways to get high. and uh, But they're not damning or glamorizing. They're just <laughs> sharing the facts. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking about the episode and it's making me laugh. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to watch it after I do this video. <laughs> um, they... Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I gotta stop. Gotta stop. All right. All right. I'm good. I'm good. I think. Um, but yeah, I, I highly recommend giving them a watch. They can be a little vulgar, but um, if it's on YouTube, all the cussing is bleeped out. So you don't have to worry about hearing it. Um, it just goes like if they're trying to say a hole, you'll hear, ah, uh, you know, like it's, it's not. You're not going to hear the whole word. And it, it makes like a little quack sound. Quack. <laughs> it's funny. Um, anyways, I um, guess I will go ahead and leave it at that. I am feeling better today. Thank you to everybody who said they wish I um, sent well wishes of uh, that I feel better. I do appreciate it. I feel much better today. I think it was just allergies kicking my butt. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling much better today. And... I'm well enough that I'm agreeing to go to work for two weeks. So, um, and, uh, oh, money means I can mail out all the happy mail I have planned and the, um, prizes that are owed to people. Mimi Catdo and Claire Williams, um, your stuff will be coming, I promise. So, um, I just need to have the money to send it, so... <laughs> Because uh, my parents are starting to feel the the pinch of um, that, all, that all boomers are who had money in the stock market. So um, they are being very, to say stingy sounds bad. They're not being stingy. It's their money and they're just helping me out. But they're being very selective. There we go. Selective uh, with things that they will help me out with. So um, it's been it's been difficult trying to get the mail out because I... Spent my whole tax refund before I was able to get the money out because I had a bunch of stuff that were auto pays and they all came out before I could cancel them. So I had like a month more membership on that side and I had this from um, from Apple that I pay for and stuff like that. So it was just I didn't I didn't spend my money the wisest, but I bought that yarn and it was a good a good deal. So. Um, I'm not, I'm not upset about that. And I only spent $150. So if you haven't seen the, the, um, unboxing video of my yarn that I got from Hobium, be sure to check that out. I think it's called Hobium birthday story and something else. I can't remember now. Um, and I'm, I can't look on my phone cause I'm using my phone to record this. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this video so late is cause I had to recharge my phone to do this video so it wouldn't die in the middle. Um, I was on my phone a lot today watching, um, uh, so I did not, um, have the battery life to make a video that could be potentially 30 minutes, but after deciding what to talk about tonight, I was like, oh, it's not going to be 30 minutes. I didn't need to charge it, but oh, well, um, you live, you learn some, you live some, and right now I am living for Trixie Mattel and Katya Zemelochikova. Um, Ka oh, I didn't even go, oh, no, 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 I am not done. I am not done. Stop trying to get me off of this video, you guys. Huh. London Fog. Here on Z1077 with the Drusifer. Talking about Katya and, and 
Trixie Mattel. I almost messed that up. I almost said Katya and Katya. Um, but Katya, her aesthetic is, I mean, you can tell by her name, she sounds Russian. She's not Russian. She's from Boston. Um, and um, I, didn't, I didn't even introduce the queens. I can't believe I didn't start out with that. I was just talking about the show. But Katya Simonochikova is from Boston. And she's American. And not Russian at all. But she loves Russian culture. Um, so her entrance look for um, her debut on RuPaul's Drag Race, she was wearing like this red hat that had the um, Russian flag on it. Um, all dressed in this lacy red thing it was just it was gorgeous um and then she like I said she is a recovering addict I think she has about five years clean at this point um and what's cr the craziest thing about it all is she has the prettiest whitest teeth ever you know like people tell me even given my drug use that I have a pretty smile does not hold a candle to hers um just absolutely gorgeous and she said before she went on tv she wanted to bleach them so she would look nice on tv and like right out of the gate it's like the first thing you notice like her mouth is never like in in especially in the beginning she's like <laughs> so you can see those teeth you can see them and they are on high beams um and then trixie mattel is a queen who loves barbies um plays music um Lots of music. She actually has a CD out that's not um, drag songs, if that makes sense. I mean, you, you wouldn't know unless you know other drag queens from RuPaul's Drag Race. But the, like, everybody almost always comes out with songs after they are on uh, Drag Race. And hers were the ones that she wrote, and they were a little bit country twangy. Um, was, the CD was called Moving Parts, and it did really, really well. She actually got nominated for um, an award uh, not the Grammys, but, like, I forget what the award was. Um, and I don't know if she won or not, but um, she, um, I think it was the New Now Next Awards, which is kind of like the gay Grammys, Oscars, Tonys, all mixed into one. Um, it gets, it gets um, gay musical artists, gay shows, gay, um, um, I mean, anything, anything gay, <laughs> anything gay. Um, oh, that's an episode of theirs that's really fun. Being gay, or you gay girl, I think is what it's called. You gay girl. Um, and it's girl with a U instead of an I. Um, and they just talk about being gay, and it's hysterical. Um, but anyways, Trixie Mattel, one thing you have to know before you watch her show, her makeup is like all kinds of batshit crazy. She has humongous lashes, lashes, bunch of white eyeliner above and below the eye, um... She does a very hard cut in her cheek makeup. Um, and it's just, she did it to model after a Barbie doll. And so, like, if you look at her, you think she looks totally crazy. But she is hysterical, and she's so talented. Um, she, when I found out that she was going to be on All Stars, I was ecstatic and was rooting from her for her from the beginning. Although a friend was like, she's not going to win. I was like, I know she's probably not going to win, but I still love her and I want to root for her. Well, she ended up winning. And um, it was only, I'm, and I do admit this, she only won because the person who deserved to win did not get voted by the other queens into being the top two, which that was so weird that they did it that, that way that season. But because of it, Trixie won. Um... Um, because poor Shangela, Shangela so deserved to win that. She was killing it every episode. Um, I don't think she was, well, they don't do a bottom, they still do a bottom two for, for All Stars. She was never in the bottom two. Trixie was, uh, she was in the bottom three one time, but she didn't get cut, luckily. Well, obviously she won, but, um, it's, it was, um, because of the vote is the reason why Trixie won. Because I don't if, if it had been against her and Shangela, Shangela would have won in the final lip sync. Because um, I know Rude just would have chose, chosen her. Um, but anyways, I'm telling you stuff that you probably don't care about. Um, if you don't watch Drag Race, then you give probably little zero craps. Zero craps. And that's totally okay. Um, I started watching Drag Race from the beginning. Um, 
12 seasons ago. They're on their 12th season right now. And the season, the queens this season are fierce. I mean, there's been good people who were the first to go. You know, because everybody is such a top-notch queen. You know, like, there, I, I don't think there were... I mean, the, the first one to go, I didn't like her. Um, I didn't... I, I wasn't surprised that she got the boot. Um, her lip sync her lip sync for her life sucked. Um, she looked like she was, like, trying to spit... Like, she was, like... When she was talking or singing, lip syncing... I like just looked like she was trying to like spit something out of her mouth, um, and um, who was the other queen? Oh, it was Nikki. Nikki slayed it, and she is French. And so the fact that she has to lip sync in English is like that's you know amazing. Um, but anyways, um, yeah. If you don't watch RuPaul's Drag Race, I highly recommend it. It's fun. Um, if you don't know drag culture, it's a good way to learn. Um, I'd recommend watching earlier seasons because they used to be a lot more educational in the um, early seasons. I'm doing my video, Mom. Oh, it's my dad, and they're trying to put Luna in my room. So you guys will get to see Luna. Luna, Luna come here. Luna, right here. Here she is. Whoop, you walked right into the, right into the stand. Oh, there's my little girl getting to make an appearance. I'm going to drag her up sometime, get her a wig and give her big lips. Oh. Oh. I know some people will be really happy to see Luna. Don't you just love her scruffy face? You look at it and you go, oh. When she was younger, um, the area around her mouth, because she's part pug, she's half pug, she's pug and Pekingese, um, this used to be so much darker, and it just, she looked like a long-haired pug, but now that it's lightened up, people think that she is a Shih Tzu, which annoys me, because I do not like Shih Tzus. And I'm sorry, Erin, if you're watching this, that's my sister. Um, she had three Shih Tzus, and... Um, I didn't hate them. I didn't not like them. Um, but when I was younger, we had a, a piano teacher, me and my sisters. We had a piano teacher, and she had a Shih Tzu, and I hated that dog. I hated it so much. Like, it was just, ugh. But Aaron's dogs were cool, um, except for Sasha. Every time when Sasha was young, she would um, bark at me the entire time I was there. Like, I, as soon as I walked into the house to visit them in Arkansas, it was like, and she would like stand like five feet away from me and if I tried to touch her she would just run for it well one time she wasn't paying attention and I grabbed her and she peed on the floor <laughs> she did not like that did she sis did she sis no she did not but anyways um, as I was saying about RuPaul's Drag Race highly recommend it it's on VH1 um, and definitely check out uh, Katya and um, Trixie's web show called Uh, capital U-N-H, lowercase H-H-H. -H -H. And as I said, I'll put a link in um, the uh, description of the video here. Um, they'll have a link to either the playlist with their videos or um, Well Presents Plus, which is a channel. And it has a bunch of different shows that dr drag queens do from, um, from Drag Race. Excuse me. But anyways, Luna, is it time to go so you can go to bed? She and I cuddled today for the first time in a long time. I was watching Uh, and my mom brought her in here. And she laid next to me for like at least three episodes before wanting to get up and go somewhere else. Luna, can I have a kiss? Luna, kiss? Kiss? See, she is just like that sometimes. I don't get it. Other times, she's like totally like all about the kisses. But not right now. Kiss? Kiss? Oh. Oh. <sighs> 
How about after this? We'll do this and see if you give me a kiss. We'll do this and see if you give me a kiss. Can I have a kiss? Man, Luna. Stone cold female dog. Take that for what you want. She is a female dog, but, you know, she's also being one of those as well. You're being a total female dog. All right. I'm going to end this video, but I just wanted to include Luna. Say bye, Luna. All right. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And um, I'm still taking questions um, from people uh, about suggestions for videos, things that you would like to see. And if you have a question of anything you want to ask me, put them in the comments and I will compile all the questions um, into a list and I'll do one whole video of me answering questions. So uh, the questions can be anything. I don't, I have no, well, you know I have no filter, but um, I have, um, sorry, um, I'm an open book. There we go. That's what I was meaning to say. I'm an open book and um, it'll, it should be fun. Um, so yeah, ask away. Um, and let me know anything that you would like to see, anything you'd like me to share about. Um, I don't always have an idea whenever I start a video. Like, I'll start the camera, and sometimes I just talk about whatever comes to mind in the first couple minutes. Um, and other times I do plan videos um, and such, so it's not going to be always a, you know, you never know with me, but... Um, Sometimes I like to see where my ADHD takes me. Um, so it's always a fun ride. And you guys seem to stick around for, for the ride. So um, I'm very happy about that. So um, to all my um, subscribers who have been really supportive and say how much you love my randomness and my craziness, I appreciate you and I love you all. And um, yeah. Oh, I'm, just, I'm trying to end the video. Why am I still talking? Oh my God. I love talking. I could just talk for hours. Just kidding. Um, I didn't mean to be seductive at the camera. Or did I? Wink. Um, anyways, like, share, and subscribe. And ask those questions. And I will see you next time. Bye. Say bye, Luna. All right. Bye-bye.